Darren here with Engadget. We're in Colorado Springs, Colorado today at West Owens headquarters. We're here with Lynn Kaler, president and CEO. He's going to give us a bit of background about where this company came from and where it's at now. You know, we got into Pro Audio uh, doing in-ear monitors for musicians about 20 years ago. In the mid-2000s, we noticed, wow, we're really selling a lot of our Pro Audio products to, to people that are using these with iPods right. and developed a complete line of products just for personal listening. I've heard you guys do everything in-house from the ear injection mold through the design all the way to the final product right here. Mm -hmm. So are we going to be able to take a look at that today? We're going to follow the entire process through and make you a set of our Elite Series ES5 custom monitors. Cool. Let's go take a look. Hey, I'm Darren with Engadget. Hey, I'm Dale Douglas. I do artist relations here at Westone, and I heard you're stopping by, so let's talk about some ear monitors. Cool. So I just met with Lynn, and he said that I was going to get some ES5. So I'm totally fresh to this. I have no idea what to expect. Well, the ES5 is our top of the line ear monitor. It has five speakers in each ear. So it has a single low, two mids, and two highs with a passive three-way crossover in each ear. So it's, it's pretty incredible sounding. I've also heard that you guys are into highly customizing things. So tell me a little bit about what's going on. Well, part of the process is choosing the color. There's so many to choose from. Pretty much, if you can imagine it, we can do it. This ice blue here reminds me a lot of uh, Engadget blue, so I think if I have a say, I might pick this. It just seems fitting, right? Oh yeah, well it's a, it's a great color, it's a, got great translucence, you can see the components, which is kind of techy, yeah. and uh, so yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's one of the most popular colors we have right now. So I've got all my information down here, really exciting stuff, but I'm actually interested in some of the technology that goes into these. Well, I'm going to have to introduce you to Carl Cartwright. He heads up our new product development. So if you want to head on around the corner there, I'm sure he'll be glad to meet with you. Cool. It's been a pleasure. Right. Nice to meet you. Thanks. So now we're here with Carl Cartwright. He's the mastermind behind a lot of things that happen at this company. He's been here 32 years, longer than I've been alive, which is really impressive. So we're talking with somewhat of a genius here. So Westone exclusively uses balanced armature versus dynamic drivers that a lot of other headphone companies use. So what made you make that decision? Why have you stuck with it? And what's the differences between those two technologies? Balanced armature drivers give us um, a couple of distinct advantages, particularly from a packaging standpoint. For instance, to see the size differences, um, this is uh, the typical dynamic type driver that we're right. all used to that uh, has been around for a long time. These ship with just about every portable product ever. I mean, these look just like uh, the earphones that come with any MP3 player or iPod. Yep. Or anything yep. like that. And you know, the, the great thing about these is, is you've got one speaker, um, it's pretty good size, it gives you decent sound. This is our West Tone 4, um, and this uh, has four speakers in it with a three-way crossover. You can see size-wise, I can do a lot more. I can get a lot more stuff in using balanced armature drivers. And what it allows me to do is use a smaller driver and really focus its output to the frequency range that I want. Tell me a little bit about what goes on quality-wise to make sure whatever leaves here, you'd be proud to have your name on it. I think that that's one of the things that differentiates us is that our Q&A is 100% on 100% of the product. Every product that leaves the door is 100% QC'd from its lowest frequency uh, range that it's rated at to the highest frequency range that it's rated at. I also believe that that's one of the things that is a differentiator for So us. that's for pro and consumer, right? Everybody's Absolutely. Go Everyone that. gets okay. the same attention and level of detail. Thanks, Carl. We really appreciate the information. Great. Well, I appreciate you coming by and visiting us. Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm Darren. I'm hearing that uh, I'm getting some ear impressions. Yes, Darren. Hi, I'm Dr. Murray. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. And this block is going to stop the impression material from going anywhere. I do not want it to be. It acts to, as a limiter. It just limits the impression material to a certain part of the ear canal. We mix up a silicone mixture and then I'll squirt it into your ear. You're going to feel some pressure. You'll feel your ear fill up and you're not going to hear very well. Okay, Darren, it's time for those to come out. It's been about four minutes, so we're going to pull those out. And I'm just going to pull up on your ear a little bit. You're going to feel a little seal break and you'll feel that come on out. And that's beautiful. That's a perfect ear impression. This impression is uh, going to the lab where we are going. And so it goes from this eventually to an in-ear monitor custom made for my ear. So let's go check it out. Hey, I'm Darren hey. from Engadget. Hey Darren, nice to meet you. I'm John Spadafora. I'm the lab manager here at Weston Laboratories. 
This is our electronics lab where we make uh, Weston custom in-ear monitors. Awesome. So I just had my ear impressions done, and I heard that they have to come here. So what happens next? This is where we receive your order. We open up the order and inspect your impressions, and there's an order form inside. We'll input that information in the computer, and your order is specifically identified by uh, a serial number. So your serial number is basically tracked throughout the entire process. So after we've got the order in the system, we start getting some hands-on stuff. So take us down the line, what happens after this? Uh, this is the impression that came out of your ear. First part of the process, what we call trimming, we use some tools to basically cut th this impression down to the shape of the monitor. So once that's trimmed down, something else has to happen. Where right. do we go next? For an inner, inner monitor to work properly and to fit properly, waxing is such a critical part of the process. So the waxing essentially will build it up so you get a nice, tight, positive seal. That seal will essentially will block out any ambient noise around you. So after it's all sealed up, where does it go? Well, after the waxing process, we send it into the investment room, and that's where all the magic happens. Okay, the secret lab behind the lab. Exactly. Cool. Let's go check it out. All right. So the investment room, that sounds like a pretty important place. Some pretty amazing stuff happens here, right? Exactly. This essentially, this is where the shell is made uh, for the monitor. Okay. So the whole shell process happens in here? Right. This is it. During the uh, investment process, we'll use a duplicating gel to create a negative of the impression. Once the colloid has cured, we then extract the impression from the colloid and it leaves a cavity or a negative. From that, we can uh, then pour the acrylic material into the negative and pour the shell. But once the material has cured, uh, we can then remove the finished shells from the colloid. And the clear portion of the canal, that's the flex portion, and the candy blue portion is the hard acrylic. We'll flatten the shell down to a specific thickness based on the, uh, the shape of the ear and also based on the type of monitor is going to be built. This is where we're doing some final finish work to the monitor. Now this is after the components have been installed into the monitor and we're essentially, we're flap sanding, smoothing down any rough edges. This is the, the final high polish shine process. Uh, essentially what we do is use a buffing lathe with uh, some polish and shine up the entire acrylic portion of the monitor. Several times throughout the uh, build process, we will test the monitor, make sure the uh, sound signature is correct and the components are operating properly. This one happens to be Darren's monitor that we're doing a final sweep on before it goes to the final quality control process. Well, Darren, we, uh, we got your ES5s finished up. So this is the unboxing process that we love so much, see? That's it. You got your cleaning cloth in here, your monitors, your Odoese, and your cleaning tool, and your VIP tag. Very nice. All Very custom nice. just for you. All right, well, enjoy, Darren. Thanks a lot, John. You Appreciate bet. it. Thanks for letting us in your lab. You're welcome. Thanks.